Greetings from the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens for August 3rd, 2019. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboy. The title for today is Doubt Steals Miracles. Doubt Steals Miracles. And the memory verse is James chapter 1 verse 6, which says, But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. The Bible reading is Matthew 14, 25 to 32. Matthew 14, 25 to 32, which reads, Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He so he said, Come. And when Peter had come down of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. May God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. As we can see from the Bible reading and from the memory verse, Doubt is not good, and it can rob us of our miracles. Now, the way that he started the devotion today is emphasizing the power, the majesty of God's creative power, first and foremost, because that's one of the doubts that people first and foremost have, even in the world that we live in today. There are so many people who believe that there's no God. So, what that is starting with today is talking about if you look at the man's um, creative work, it reflects even our creative God is. And if you look at the universe, if you look at the stars, if you look at the moon, if you look at the sun, if you look at the universe, it proves, you know, God's creative power. And we know that all of this could not have been done without a creator. You know, even daddy says that a concern of the intelligent design, that this, this world was intelligently designed, it don't just come out of nothing, intelligently designed because there was a creator. And that creator must be our great and mighty God. Even the signature of this almighty God, it is seen in the way the world is created. Even the wonders of the human body, even our human body, the way the body functions is to show that somebody intelligently designed it and it is God Almighty. Plants, insects, the mountains, the rock formation, the waterfalls, the beautiful landscapes all across the world, you know, all of this are meant to prove to us and leave us without any iota of doubt that there is a great creator. So the first part of the devotion of the day is emphasizing the fact that yes, let doubt not sink in our hearts to say, oh, all of this, all that we have in the world was created out of nothing. It was created by, by, some, by something else, it's by the almighty God. Because that's the foundation of doubt in every life. So we have to at least cross that level of doubt first 
before we look at even other doubts that can rob us of our miracles. So he says that all of this that we have just um, um, enumerated are meant to leave us without any iota of doubt. There is nothing impossible with the Almighty God who is all knowing and is all powerful. So, no matter the situations we are facing, we should be able to rely on this fact and not doubt that He can also do miracles in our lives. And when we doubt the exist His existence, which we already talked about, or even if we doubt His ability to do all things, because you can say, oh, yes, we are Christians, we believe that He created the heavens and the earth, we don't doubt that. But when we doubt his ability to do all things, it only robs us of us partaking in his miraculous work. Which is why the title for today is Doubt Steals Miracle. When you doubt God's ability, you rob yourself of that opportunity, of that blessing to receive and partake of his miraculous work. And that is even given examples here. There were two examples in the Bible that were given here. The first was that of the government official who doubted what Elisha said. There was a great famine in Samaria. And it was like, and Elisha prophesied that this time tomorrow, you know, there will be a seer of flour will be sold for one shekel and two shares of barley for one shekel. And that government official doubted. Now, he saw the fulfillment of the work, word, but he did not live to partake of it. He died as a result. Second area of doubt that Daddy Luke is teaching us today from the Bible is that of the spies who went out to Canaan to spy the land. Outside, except for Joseph, uh, for um, Caleb and Joshua, the others said they cannot conquer the land. They were fearful. But what happened? The land was eventually possessed, but they denied themselves the, the pleasure of entering the promised land because they doubted. And the truth of the matter is that whether we doubt or not, especially when we are doubting, it does not in any way diminish God's power to do what he has said to do. And that is why doubting does not pay us at all. Because God is all powerful and our doubt does not add to him, does not change him. He will still do all that he has said to do by his mighty power. And that's why that is encouraging us that I encourage you therefore to not doubt God. Your doubt will not diminish him in any way. It will only rob you of his purpose and provision for your life. And that is praying a prayer for us that may the Lord completely destroy the root of doubt in your life and your family today. In Jesus' name, amen. So let's go out there and live a life of faith because when we live in doubt, we're only robbing ourselves of the miracles that God has in store for us. And the key point is that doubt is an arrow of the devil designed to steal God's purpose and provisions for your life. So we should not live in doubt. Let's pray as we close. Father, we know that doubt is an arrow of the devil that is meant to steal God's purpose and provision for our lives. Father, we pray from this day and for so God. Every arrow of doubt that the enemy is throwing at us we reject in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. We shall live in faith and we shall not live in doubt in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. And those miracles you have prepared for us, O oh God, as we walk in faith, O oh God, Lord, we receive today in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow by God's grace.